If you're a Norwegian yes. fan, you're tuning in in large part because of this man right here, the beast from Norway. Now it's Rain and Mike Lele, 2v4 here, and Mike Lele gonna go down eventually, Neo to finish it off, and it doesn't look possible here. Rain gets three kills though, and now one bullet left, and Patrick gets the quad kill! Are you kidding me, Rain, he picks up every single one! Rain was the man you turned to if it was a 1vx. You looked at him because he always seemed to get the job done. And it's just Rain left alive. He's going to find the quick kill onto Happy, but he's got Kiyoshima to contend with. What a frag there coming in from Rain. He's going to be pushing into the bomb site. The bomb is on his back. He's got the smoke for cover. So he can make the approach to the bomb site. He does have some time as well. He's going to try to get the frag onto the flanking player. The game sense from this man is unreal. There's still two more players to find though. Rain, he's going to get another one. MPK goes down. He's created a one-on-one. -on -one. He's got so much time to use as well. He's going to make his way back back towards the, uh, the middle position. And he's going to try to trick his opponent right now. Apex though, oh my goodness gracious me, Rain. Match point phase, they are on the cusp of winning this major. This is a trophy that they're destined to lift. Guardian waits patiently as Cloud9 sets the push up. Oh, oh, it's happened. They made it work. Cloud9. I don't know what happened exactly, it just, from that moment, it just felt like we were never that, that team we used to be. I don't know how much more Rain can do. This guy is the glue keeping this team together, even when everything seems lost. So often, time and time again, five versus one is not enough to stop Rain. That is why he's a Bond villain. It requires a lot to take him down there. They don't even know this is happening yet. FNX is checking from behind. Oh, but they lied. Oh, right! He shuts down. Oh, for headshot! It's an ace to finish the half! Oh, my God! What the hell was oh! that? What in the blazes was that? This angle here that Rain's on, because it's so common for a CT to peek over that smoke there. Bomb part goes down. Rain, unbelievable shot. He's going to double it. Can he get any more? Of course he can. It's Rain. The world of esports is a fluid one. Teams rise and fall, orgs get bought and sold, and players come and go. In the midst of the chaos, there are a few standout names that remain as solid and steadfast as the sky above our heads, who, no matter what's happening around them, remain right as rain. You have to be really focused when you play. You have to play the game serious, and you just have to be versatile and do stuff that nobody else does. Havard Rain Nygaard is exactly that type of player. Rain's been called out. Hello, one, two, three, four! The Norwegian FPS monster has been a fixture of competitive CSGO since the game's release. But Rain hasn't simply remained faithful to Counter-Strike. You see, as FaZe Clan's CSGO team's longest lasting member, he's also become a pillar of a lineup that has gone through multiple ownership and roster changes over the years. And in the eye of that storm, Rain has been indelible, inexorable, and inevitable. Alu can't make it away, caught in the heels. The strike comes in for Rain! Oh! <laughs> It's like nothing else, three kills that no one could provide but him in this moment. Taco, would you dare try and get back into this? Rain's on six HP, the flash comes in. Taco wants to find him. Taps away, hoping that one shot, and no, it's Rain to get four. Like any self-respecting European, Rain's first love was soccer. He spent his formative years playing the sport in his hometown in Norway, right up until an injury forced him to quit. I always had like a fire burning through my hip and it was like at that time that I said to myself that I can't do this anymore and that's how it all ended. Young Rain found himself in dire need of a new hobby. And, as is the case with a lot of pros, watching his older brother play Counter-Strike eventually led to Rain giving the game a try. And he loved it. So much so that by the time he turned 19, Rain had decided to pursue a career in professional CS. At first, Rain bounced between little known European rosters. And while none of them ever gained any sort of international recognition, 
It was obvious that Rain performed at a level that was leaps and bounds above his peers. MBK down to bump carrier will be picked off by Rain, but it's a three on one. Rain's gonna be asked to do something very special, which he starts doing. That'll be his hat trick frag. Two headshots into shocks and happy. Still only those 22 points of health against a fully held Smith who will lie. Oh, oh my! Rain delivers and he makes it rain frags. Rain's stint with a now defunct Norwegian org, LGB Esports, ended when in May of 2015 he was bought out of the remainder of his 22 month contract for an undisclosed sum and signed a deal with his first ever international roster, Team Kinguin. Now it's Rain and Michael Lele 2v4 here, and Michael Lele gonna go down eventually. Neo to finish it off, and it doesn't look possible here. Rain gets three kills though, and now one bullet left on Patrick gets the quad kill. Are you kidding me? Rain, he picks up every single one and takes it to overtime. That is unreal. The switch allowed Rain to rub shoulders with other CSGO players who'd eventually go on to become household names, like Scream and Dennis. And it was also a chance to grow and develop as a player while he adapted to communicating with teammates who didn't all speak the same language. At starten så var det väldigt kaos. Det ska jag inrömma. Det var mycket dålig kommunikation och det var mycket rart och men så har vi gjort med en som heter Egg Michael och Dennis håller samman så vi snackar lite svensk och så snackar vi ganska mycket engelsk. Alla är bra i engelsk nu så det går helt fint. Like any new undertaking, Kingwin had their share of doubters. My friend, you Kingwin team, my friend, they have no chance to be honest. They have no chance. They have no chance. Oh, Rain is pranking Kingwin. Yeah. The talking shit to his face. My friend, to be honest, hmm. No chance, no chance. <laughs> They can surprise my friend in single match, but I don't think so they are ready for win something. But no matter how much hate they got or how wild of an experiment this international roster was, Kinguin were proving that with a few tweaks and a whole lot of dedication, it was possible to make it work. Scream's gonna throw his out as well towards the same position, not too sure, but he does get tagged down. That's Tabson, relentless with his aggression. Oh, that's a that's double for Rain. It all comes down to one more. He finds it! Rain, one bullet and a frag secure 13. And that shouldn't, but it did happen. And Rain just turns his nose up at Penta and says, this is our round. Kingwin's roster became a bit of a hot commodity, and just four months after the team's formation, they had an offer from G2's founder and CEO, Carlos, who wanted Kingwin to become part of his growing esports empire. Now, the move was obviously huge for the team as a whole, but it had a special meaning for Rain. You got bought up by G2. Yeah. Did you do it for the money? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Full time. I always wanted to go full time. I wanted that offer came to the table. I took it. The newly minted G2 lost Scream not long after the transfer, but the rest of the squad, including Scream's replacement, JKM, continued to perform. One of G2's first ever events under a new banner was the 2015 Dreamhack Cluj Napoca Major, and going into it, the team felt confident that they had what it took to take home the big prize. And it's just Rain left alive. He's going to find the quick kill onto Happy, but he's got Kiyoshima to contend with. What a frag there coming in from Rain. He's going to be pushing into the bomb site. The bomb is on his back. He's got the smoke for cover. So he can make the approach to the bomb site. And he does have some time as well. He's going to try to get the frag onto the flanking player. The game sense from this man is unreal. There's still two more players to find though. Rain, he's going to get another one. MPK goes down. He's created a one on one. He's got so much time to use as well. He's going to make his way back, back towards the, uh, the middle position. And he's going to try to trick his opponent right now. Apex though, oh my goodness gracious me, Rain is an absolute monster. Unfortunately, whether it was the stress of the transition or just tough competition, G2 ended up losing their bout against Team Envious before reaching the finals. But as disappointing as the loss was, the team seemed like they were ready to keep going. We can beat every, every team, so we're going to go to the next major thinking uh, focus, focus in in the in the title you know not with the goals going through the group stage and that kind of things 
we're gonna play to, to win the majors. Unfortunately, as it turned out, the team's IGL, Dennis, wasn't gonna stick around after G2's failed major run. And once Dennis went over to Fnatic, his IGLing duties officially fell to none other than Rain, who, even though he was already doing most of the calling, wasn't exactly thrilled about the whole thing. No one else wanted to call, and I said I could do it. So, who was doing it before you? Mikael? We had Ligia, yeah. then we had Dennis to try, and he didn't want to do it, so then I did it. Uh, okay. So you're just kind of put in a role that you're uh, not so comfortable with, you feel good, like you're good at it, but maybe you don't like it at so much? I don't feel really good at it. I don't counter anyone, I just try to make everyone play their game. Mm -hmm. But the loss of Dennis wasn't even the biggest change coming down the pipe. An American org, FaZe Clan, decided to expand their esports reach, and they set their sights firmly on Rain and his teammates, shelling out a whopping $700,000 to acquire the full roster from G2. The move, though not without its hiccups, marked the beginning of an era for Rain. Not long after the acquisition, FaZe went through some growing pains while trying to find the perfect combination of players. One iteration of the team in particular was infamously immortalized for literally being the fastest to ever die in a round. And now Mal's looks like they're gonna be taking the half ahead. Keep in mind this map can go T-sided. Oh no, it's the rush up middle eco push. Just a year after the most expensive roster acquisition deal in CSGO history went down, FaZe was a completely different team. Of the five former G2 squad members, Rain was the only one left. The only one that FaZe wanted to keep. And it was easy to see why. They don't even know this is happening yet. FNX is checking from behind. Oh, but they lied. Oh, right! He shuts down. Oh, for headshot! It's an ace to finish the half! 10-5! What a play! But in order to free Rain up to do what Rain does best, FaZe needed to bring in a natural leader. And their answer was Kerrigan. FaZe came with an incredible good offer, uh, saying, you can build your own team here. There's uh, only one player we want to be in the lab in the future, and that is Rain. Uh, so we want to build this team around you and Rain. Rain and Kerrigan are coming through the connector and flanking in behind is AZ. What a stunning headshot. Oh my god! Followed up Rain looking for more. He's almost out of bullets. He gets a wide left! Are you kidding me, Rain? He picks up the quad kill. They're gonna win the round! Rain and Kerrigan soon found themselves in pretty illustrious company. With the addition of Nico, Guardian, and Olaf Meister, FaZe could now truly be called a super team. I mean, I played with Rain in so many different games before that as well, and just playing with Nico, playing with Kerrigan, playing with Guardian, playing with everyone, it's just... So, I mean, I've played against all these guys for so long, it would be fun to like play with them as well. To push that position. It has been occupied, good timing from Rain! All three, look for more! Bye-bye, Fallen as well, Garrett! Excuse me. I'm gonna say bye bye. I wanna go to Guardian's name, but Rain is still in position. What a play to shut them down. Taco, nowhere to go. It's all five. Forces it back. Olaf tries to pincer him out. All he does is actually open up an access bash. It's for Taco to fall off of this, but he doesn't have the bomb. What a spray on the first three. That's so sick. That's all we need to see these star players stepping up. In high pressure situations, got the AK-47 in his hand and he's looking for the ace. He's not happy with four, he wants to take the entire team and he's gonna do it! What a round from Rain! While every player on that team was a legend in his own right, the question on everyone's mind was whether FaZe as a whole could actually live up to the standards set by its individual parts. And the answer wasn't always clear. The arsenal toward the firebox in hope of a kill. All in in one position and Guardian makes it just nice to find the flash! And Nico fittingly gets the last kill as FaZe dominate New York in 2017 in the Barclays Center all the way through this tournament. They've looked so, so good. Not drop, dropping a single map so far. A solid unit, a super team of sorts. And inside of every dark cloud comes Rain, but inside of that comes Rez. He takes down Rain behind the smoke and get right closes it. A best of five against the best in the world. And NIP go back to back in Oakland. 
So that's a Sliggy observing, observing as well. Observing. Guardian taking out one of the AKs, actually. Sunny will trade. Of course it's Sunny, but Rain, there's no way to check for him. They can't trade either. Rain, of course. Four versus two, doing more damage, leaving Oscar with a UMP. He's got to pick up a rifle, surely. Going past the connected area. This is the end of the line for Mouse Sports. Phase after a massive best of three. Shut down the dreams, desires of Mouse Sports and take the championship. They came into it as the favorites and finally they prevail. But FaZe's most important test came in 2018, when the Super Squad found themselves facing the North American underdogs, Cloud9, in the grand final of the E-League Boston Major. By all accounts, this should have been FaZe's crowning achievement. The major win that would cement them as the ultimate force in Counter-Strike. This is the one accolade, this is the one achievement, the one milestone that four of the players on the FaZe team have. The organization itself within CS, one of the, the newer organizations that doesn't have as well. This is a trophy that they're destined to lift. But, as we all remember, that wasn't what happened at all. Guardian waits patiently as Cloud9 sets the push up. Oh! Oh, this happens! They made it work! Cloud9 are your E-League Major Champions! The loss was a serious blow. The Major was one round away from having been theirs, and FaZe let it slip right through their fingers time and time again. Stewie's on his own, but look at the time! Look at the time, there's seven seconds of the bomb! They're trying to build pyramids, but there's no more play! Stewie's oh! won the round, we go going to overtime! While the superstar phase lineup did stay together initially, at some point, it did begin to unravel. Olaf Meister went on to take a bunch of breaks from playing competitively. Kerrigan and Guardian eventually went to different teams. A change Rain felt was important for the overall health of the roster, despite his close personal relationships with both players. It was something the team needed, I think. I think we needed one change wouldn't be enough, I think, at this moment. Uh, we kept changing one player, one player all the time. We never felt like we had a, a new roster. Uh, so two changes was needed. New players were brought in and then replaced in an effort to recapture that initial magic. But while FaZe may have been in a state of flux, Rain remained the one constant, unchanging denominator. And the threat's been eliminated. Oh my god, what the hell was oh! What in the blazes was that? This angle here that Rain's on because it's so common for a CT to peek over that smoke there. Bomb Park goes down, Rain, unbelievable shot. And he's going to double it. Can he get any more? Of course he can, it's Rain. In his personal life, 2019 was the year that Rain honored another commitment. After about two years of dating, he proposed to his girlfriend, a Ukrainian streamer known on Twitch as Sonya the Evil and the pair tied the knot a few months later. And in CSGO, not even the global pandemic that had turned the whole world upside down and sent all esports events online in 2020 could slow the man down. He opts for them, and rightfully so, because Reigns done it again. Rinse and repeat, and then some. A quad kill to defend B the round before, and now against the armored pistols, it's exactly the same. Maybe one better, as somebody's the last one. Rain will tap away, ace in round 13. Push around phase a little bit. And oh. I say that, Rain absolutely eliminates the threat and brings us oh. back a 4K for Rain. Howie, how has he done that? That is unreal. Rain just jiggling, wiggling around and now leaving it all onto Magisk. Now, surely in a round where Rain gets four, this cannot fall apart for FaZe. He has done all the heavy lifting. And now him and Brokey just have to finish the job. Magis down with one. Ray needs the ace and he's oh. gonna get it. And while we haven't seen stellar results from FaZe as a whole during CSGO's online era, now that lands have returned, along with Rain's favorite IGL, Kerrigan, the team has been doing better than it has in a long time. FaZe Clan, they just need two more. And they're off to the semi-finals. The world number one packing their bags. There's no way. Exile, all the frags he's had this tournament, these are compulsory for Gambit. Evades the flash, multiple targets, Kerrigan slipped the net though, and he's caught on the mantle, Inters doesn't have the health for this, one HP, FaZe Clan have done it! Eliminating Gambit in the quarterfinals, it's absolutely unbelievable, fun and games! 
You just can't take the LAN out of FaZe Clan. As someone who has seen FaZe cycle through countless variations of its roster since the team's inception, Rain is in a unique position now to judge just how well they're doing. And he feels more confident in FaZe's firepower than ever before. The lineup we have now, there's clear worlds, I feel like, and I feel like everybody has a, a purpose in-game. It's it's one of the best iteration of FaZe, even though we haven't shown it yet. I think this lineup has uh, a clear potential that we haven't really unleashed. In esports, there are many players who burn hot and burn out twice as fast. But Rain definitely isn't one of them. For years, he has been FaZe's rock rather than its blazing star. And that, in and of itself, is a role essential to any successful roster. And I am Ore. And I am By being that ever-present monolithic force, Rain created a solid foundation for a team that has gone through its ups and downs but never crumbled under the weight of their circumstances. And if his past record is anything to go by, we can all rest assured that should a fire arise for FaZe Clan, Rain will be there to put it out. That's gonna put Rain into an awkward spot. Cold trying to cover short. He too toppled Rain. Oh, oh another tap! Oh, Good night! Oh my god! FaZe win another. Oh my god. We call those raindrops. Yeah. Yeah, the pitter patter of the raindrops, the one taps. Oh, man. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.